Hey everyone, how's everyone doing today? My name is Gina and I am doing great. So it's scroller box time. But before I delve into the box and what's in it and see what I want to play with, I want to just uh, take a few moments to kind of update, kind of, um, you know, because I haven't talked to y'all in a while, like just talking and just like, hi, how y'all doing? Um, and just letting y'all know what's all going on in my little world. Um, I have been, oh, I want to start off by saying I am not sponsored. If I am ever sponsored, trust, you better trust and believe that I will be, uh, singing it from the treetop. So, uh, so if I don't say right away I am being sponsored by whatever, then just trust and believe I am not being sponsored, okay? So, with that out of the way, um, I have... I got the scroller box um, for the purpose of improving in my drawing for this year. That was my goal for this year. I wanted to improve my drawing skills. Um, and I really feel like I am progressing in my drawing. I can see it when I go back and look at other drawings. Some days, they, you know, it's still a little, but then some days I'm like, wow, man, that looks pretty good. You know, I'm improving. So I feel it's this, and I do do a couple of online courses. I haven't done them in probably a month. I really should get back and doing that. Um, but it's just, I think, too, it's just practicing. Every day I try to draw in my sketchbook, and if I'm not drawing in my sketchbook, I have got a new software um, called Procreate for my iPad, and I, I love it, love it, love it, love it, love it so, so much, because it's like Photoshop, but it, for, in my opinion, it's a user friendly it is so so user friendly um because i have used photoshop i've used studio clip art i have used gimp i've used fire alpaca i mean i've used a lot of digital software and procreate by far is the easiest to understand and to use. I absolutely love it. And I feel like if when I m get it mastered, then I would even um, be able to master then Photoshop and um, Illustration and all of those other ones out there. But I just, I love it. It's just really easy to use. So I've been using that and I've been doing um, a lot of decorative painting. I've been doing working on my watercoloring because that was another thing I wanted to work on this year. I wanted to work on drawing and watercoloring because I love the look of watercolor so so much and I was just I'm determined that I'm going to get get with it and just you know, really learn watercoloring. So this is something that I did today, just a little, this is a watercoloring sketchbook um, by Be Creative. And I, I've had this sketchbook for about a month and a half, but I've been terrified of starting the new page because <laughs> I wanted it to be so pretty, you know, but then I finally said to myself, Gina, just take the plunge and just put something on the page. So I did. And I really love the way that these came out. I don't think they look really, really cute. These little, these little simple loose flowers, you know. And that's my favorite part of watercoloring is just the, the looseness. I like that look. I don't like it to be too detailed. So anyway, my point is I've been busy doing things, but I've not been videotaping them because, um, one, I just like the decorative painting that is such a long process and it's just I feel like it's just tedious you know going on um watercoloring I may do one of those you know um but I do end up posting though what I'm doing I either I post it in several spots I post it on my Facebook page and I post it on my Instagram I also I don't I'm not sure if y'all are aware or not but in on YouTube there is a community tab and you can comment and 
it's kind of like a Facebook group type thing. And um, so I can post pictures and all that kind of stuff. So I do that as well. So there are several places that you can go and look. Like if you're wondering, like if I don't get a video out in a week and you're wondering, oh my gosh, does she fall off the planet? Just go to those places. And if I've posted stuff, you know I'm busy doing other things that are not video related. Um, and if I've not posted anything, I may well have fell off the planet. So anyway, so that's just what I wanted to say. That's five minutes long. I know y'all hate it when I talk so much, but I miss y'all. I really do. I feel like some of these videos are just me just being like, blah, here. Okay, bye. Gotta go. You know, and I do like to talk and craft. That's what I like to do. I really wish that, you know, we could be together in a room and just craft doing whatever we want to do, you know, but so anyway, let's get started on the scroller box um, and see what's inside this little this little ditty this month. I don't know. I don't like look. I don't even watch anybody else's videos, but I don't think anybody else has had a video out. Again, this comes from the UK, so therefore it does take a while to get here. I think like over in UK they get it like the first week of the month. And here we get it the last of the month, pretty much. Because they ship it out probably the second week, third week, second. Alright, so here we go. Oh, let's see. Yes, Ashi. Alright, what have we got? What do we got? What do we got? We got a Jolly Ranger, yes. Ooh, and Cherry, yes. I can have that. All right, let's see. This is a, ooh, Windsor Newton, 0.8. It's a 0.8. Oh, wow. Wow. Look at that nib. We'll read more about it, see what it, exactly it is. It's a fine liner. So we'll, um, we'll, what's that called? Uh, oh, my gosh. Swatch. Ooh, I got a nice little brush here. A Milan four round. It looks like a pointed round. It's very, very pointy. So that's nice. Can never use and get enough paint brushes. Oh yay! A mechanical pencil. Alright, I think this is one of those weird kind. I don't want to say weird. That's that's being rude. But it's one of those um it has, okay, I'm going to read it. The special me mechanical pencil, pencil features a one-click anti-breaking. So you click it once, so don't click it any more than that. Right? Um, with a unique lead sleeve that retracts as the lead wears down. Okay, meaning it will still draw without needing to expose a lot of vulnerable lead. This exclusive design maxes maximizes lead protection and avoids any disturbance when using the or orins oh I should, it's a pentel orins orins is that how you pronounce it orins um well can also write at almost any angle without issue as the lead sleeve doesn't snag the paper with its easy and comfortable use this mechanical pencil is set to revolutionize your drawing and even hides a handy little eraser under this little cap. So that is very cool. It's a point seven, which is kind of fat. I like point, um, point five. So I really wish that was a point five because I already have a point seven. But what's cool is I can maybe find, um, because usually in this point seven, this is my old one. This is the one that I usually use. It's a H. I think I have my HB lead in there. So I would like to have one uh, so I can put my uh, 2B lead in, in it. So maybe I can use that for that. All right. Oh, it's a, just a black sticker. Watercolor. We're watercoloring today. All right. Um, let's see. Let's get rid of this. What is this? Is this Viva Color Sheets? Oh no! Is it really? Hold on. Oof! I'm, I might be getting. I think if I if I'm right, what I think it is, they are now making watercolors into sheets. They're not like in palettes. Some places are doing it like uh, like on sheets, 
And I think that's what this is, and that's why I'm uber excited because I've been wanting to try that out. Um, and I'm kind of glad that we got watercolor this month huh? so that I can test it out. I'm hoping that is what this is. And it's made in India, so that's going to have good ink. Okay. Oh, it is. It is. It is. It is. It is. Oh, yay. Oh, I'm so excited. Oh, oh hold on. Oh, I gotta, ooh, I gotta pause. I gotta pause. I gotta pause. I gotta pause. I'm sorry, but I just was geeking out so hard, and I don't think y'all wanted to hear me geek out as much as I did, but I was geeking because I have really, 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 really wanted to try these. Um, I've seen them, and I'm like, I want to try them, but I was scared to try them because I don't really know. Like, oh my gosh, this has got a sheen on it, and this is saying it's peacock blue. But it, oh my God, we, I'm definitely going to be swatching this. Let's see. Stick mixing panel here if required. What is this? Stick this to the main booklet. I think this is your swatch. Probably. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, so they're saying do this. So you put that there. And you can blend on this. That's kind of cool. All right, we'll swatch that in just a second. I am going to swatch every one of those colors, um, but I won't do it, you know, on camera because y'all you know, probably get bored of that. All right, and then it looks like uh, this artist. Who is this by? Oh, I watch her, Casey Golden. I sure do. I do watch her on uh, YouTube. I like her. Uh, she's got she's very quirky I, when I watch her videos I think that we kind of have the same kind of style um, is really quirky and out there so I really like her stuff because I can relate to how she does uh, her illustration and her watercolor she is really cool at watercoloring I like her watercoloring and then we have uh, a couple of pieces actually of watercolor paper and let's see who is this by let me tell you well the water the water coloring sheets are by Viv, Viv Eva right in 16 colors and then um, this is Brockingford watercolor paper so and I'm trying to see if it's made out of it doesn't say that it's 100% cotton, so, but it feels pretty nice. It has a nice little texture to it. So, yeah. All right, so I'm just going to put those to the side, and I'm going to put this to the side, too. So, you can watercolor this because it's on watercolor paper, and you can send it out as a postcard. That's cute. That is really cute. That's cute. All right, so... Now, let's just swatch. I just want to swatch a roo. So let me get in my swatch a roo book. So this is my scroller box for September. This is a weird feeling. Um, it's weird because it's so long. It's just a weird feeling. Pen. So this is the Windsor Newton. It is a fine. It's point oh eight. Oh, not oh eight point eight. Okay. So we've got that, and then we have the Pentel. This is Warren's. One click. Pincel. Point oh seven. Point seven. Tracer works. I don't know what kind of lead they put in there. Probably HB. Okay. 
now the piece of our resistance. The piece of resistance. The piece of resistance. Um, oh, it's not the watercolor pencils. I'm like, wow. Well, I mean, paintbrush. But here, actually, let's try out their paintbrush that they sent me. When you get a first paintbrush, if you don't know, it comes with like a film on it. And when you touch it, it will be slimy. So you just got to kind of take that off. All right. So let's see. Let's just start. All right. I'm going to swatch. And we're going to see how this works. So first, okay, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to write down the name of this. It's Vivia Water Color Sheets. That's what they're calling it. So I'm going to write the name and then I will swatch on the side. And once I write the names, I'll start swatching just so you know how to work this doodadder. And then I'll be right back. All righty. Let's try them out. Okay, I'm pretty sure what you do is you wet your brush and then you just wet the palette like so. Yup, look at that. Holy cannoli. Oh my gosh, y'all. That is vibrant. I knew it would be. I mean, like I love my Indian inks that I have. Oh, he's so pretty. All right, let's try deep pink. Pretty. All right, so there we are. These colors are gorgeous. 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 Oh my gosh. They are gorgeous. They're very vibrant. Look at the air. Look at the air. I love them. Alright, so now I have to think about, I think I'm going to just do some flowers, right? Loose flowers. The thing, let's see. The challenge is feeling buggy. So maybe do some loose, just some loose flowers, right? And then maybe, um, if they're big, let's see, they'll be big enough because I'm going to use this whole sheet here. I can never tell the front and the back. This is the front. Um, and then maybe on the leaves, I can put little, little bugs like little ladybug or something on the leaf. That sounds like a good idea, don't you think? I think so. All right, so we're just gonna move that over to the side. And I'm actually gonna go off camera for just a minute and I'm gonna go ahead and put the swatches where they go right here so that I can have them. Um, so I will be right back. Okay. So I think I'm going to use an eight brush, but I also have uh, some of my daggers here just in case I want to change up because I do, I think I do want to put um, some different flowers. And again, these are loose flowers, so not much detail, right? So I'm kind of glad I did swatch this over here so I can see the colors instead of trying to flip through. That is the one thing that I think I is going to that I'm not going to dig because you know when you use a regular palette you open it up and bam there's your colors you know what I'm saying and then you have your swatch on the side so this you have to flip I mean they do show you kind of down here but you know I don't know all right so let's just, I'm just going to start and I'll probably just go fast forward on this.
I like the color. The, the colors are vibrant. Um, and I just, I tried a new technique making these flowers right here. So that's why they're a little wonky. <laughs> but, you know, hey, keep practicing and they'll get better. Um, oh, I'm supposed to draw a bug, but I'm not going to draw a bug. I'm just going to leave it like this. Let me scooch out. Oops, that's scooching in. Um, I, what I feared happened, happened. Like, it's so hard to flip through and then mix. Like, I mixed a whole bunch there, and then that's a whole bunch of water there. You know, so, in reality... This is like a neat concept, or not in reality, but on paper, this is a neat concept. But in reality, it was a little difficult to use. So, yeah, and I got a little crazy down there, so don't mind all that. But this was just a tester outer, just to see how um, those, those paints worked. So, oh, I did want to see something, though. Doesn't matter. I just want to see if the uh, marker that they gave us, if it's, if it's, um, well, dang, gum it. Here, just, you know, use the pen. What have you been using? Um, I just wanted to see if this is water and it is. So that's nice. And my water got dirty too. But anyway. So that's cool. So the pen is water soluble, or not soluble, it's water resistant. So that's nice to know. I'm going to put that with another one of my favorite because, you know, I do use a lot of water stuff. So, so that's what came in the scroller box. Um, it was pretty cool, pretty nifty. So I hope that uh, you enjoyed the video. I enjoyed making it. All right, y'all. Well, thanks so much for watching. I truly appreciate it. Give it a thumbs up if you like the video. Um, share it if you feel the desire to. Um, and subscribe if you want. And if you have, thank you so much. I appreciate it. Don't forget to hit the notification bell to be notified for every time that I post a video. All right, y'all. Y'all be good to one another, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.